Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to look how we can take maps from um, USGS or DAM maps and import them inside the VU. So we can take it maps that perform from the any Earth, planets, uh, Mars, Moon, any of them, and how we can create one to one realistic terrain shape inside the VU. The one place where you can go, it is um, seamlessusgs.gov. This is website can provide you with the maps for the Earth, very detailed for US and some other areas not that detailed. The also, if you have any questions how to use, they have a very nice help file, which can go step per step and tell you how to retrieve map or how to navigate. Okay, so let's go inside the view download US. Okay, right here you can notice we have it, our US map. I want to go and select maybe area. You can notice when mouse selects we have a kind of a rectangle area. And by using this you can navigate to any specific area that you desire to uh, receive. You notice right here we start having um, scale. So you can navigate this way. As well, you have had some options of um, precision or other ways you want to retrieve information. By default, it said NAD share relief. If you have any questions about what all of them does, I totally recommend go and read this help file that will can explain you. As default, just keep it NAD one acre per second. So this is probably default. If you by um, select any other options, you may receive different information. But at least I'll show how we can work with these settings. Next, when you zoom in out that you think that will work for your project, let's go to download. And download, we have it defined download area. So let's click on this. Next, what I'm going to do is select area that I want downloaded. The pop-up windows with options appear. Before you do this, be sure your pop-ups is enabled for this website. Next, I want to modify my data request. In many cases, what's happening, the sum of the settings won't be correct. So I want to just verify it and I'll go down to, um, to my settings. Okay, where well, we have an evaluation map. In the second one, it's finished downloading. You see some of collapsing. And you can select what format you want to them display. You can have it multiple uh, formats. I want to use it GeoTFF for this project. The reason is why also because we, we cannot just take this data and directly import into VU. We actually need to go ahead and use some other application will convert us to DM format that is VU will accept it. So it's kind of multiple steps. And I select my one acre per second. What I used before, I have GeoTFF select here. When I'm done, I can click save and return. So this time we now have it our processing ready. When you're ready for your um data download you just click download also if you have it multiple requests selected you will notice right here you will have it multiple requests so you can download all of them because when you're ready it will go ahead and retrieve the status it's compiled for you your request to your data and when you're done your download um, appear so you can save your um, result so right here for example it's pop up and says you want to save your result so I recommend it save it at this point. Okay, so when we're done, the next we need processing. To process the information we have it, um, you need downloaded some application third party. And one of them, I recommend you to use it. And you can find the current that application stopped supporting, but the developer was very kind to us to allow 
provide this application for people to download on our website, um, which is companion for our book. It's called V7 from the ground up. Just go click on inside link. And right here on the bottom, you will see the 3DM applications for Windows. If you're using Macintosh, just search for 3DM Mac that provide another application. Um, currently, I'm recording on PC, so I will use it, this application. Again, this is totally free download, and you can go ahead and download it from our website. It's still available, that application. Okay, when you finish um, downloading that application, you install it. So right here, you can go ahead and file, and you can load the terrain model at this point. Okay, so we have it, GTFF selected. You can also, if you have a diff different maps, you can select all these options. This is very nice application that allowed conversion between multiple formats and it will support as well. Just example, you can save to Tarjan if you work with this or any other format. So let's go ahead and load a terrain model. Select the GeoTFF, it's what I save it. Okay, and right here, my map, I was saving from others. So you can notice it will open my map. As well, when you move it, you can notice we have an altitude elevation. So all information preserved right here. Next, we'll go file and we'll go save as USGS ASCII DM. So I'll save as a map. Okay, at this point, we're done with conversion and we want to go inside our Vue application and load it here. So we'll go File and we'll go Import Object. Okay. Inside, we'll go and we'll select this map that we'll just create a DM extension. Click OK. Couple things. Um, we have it some options. You can leave it as a default. The resize will resize your object as well. Okay, and decimate, if you do this, the object will automatically decimate to remove amount of polygons. I don't want to do this. So I'll disable resize. I'll just enable only center the object. Remember also, if you don't center and you use it with DM map, your objects will be tiled. So you have it multiple tiles. The view, view will be realign them so they kind of matching okay let's click ok at this point okay next and one place it one thing i want to do also maybe just slightly increase so we can see better okay let's take our main camera and move above render to screen bigger format so we can preview and right here you can see we imported our map again this is all based on the resolution how far away you set it and if you're going inside um settings you can actually specify what the resolution how close what scale you want to be and by working with those scales and take separate format because you kind of limited how much information you can pass in one you can have very detailed information saved and again import here the couple things of course you need work at this point it is um matching on the angles so right well on the sides so right here you may need overlap and work with those objects at the point so right here we have our piece of map is imported the couple things you may need to work and it's with combining with a google map if you want it it is take overview shot for the coloring of your terrain so you you know where is included okay let's go edit our object and preview in a terrain editor you notice this is not was imported just as the some model this is imported as your um, terrain object on the case you can take it this terrain 
you can apply all effects to your terrain as well and see how maybe what's happened to your current terrain if you have a dissolve or any other terrain effects erosion will be applied so in that case if you recreating you take currently mountain you have the ability to see what's happened with this mountain in thousand years by applying like river valleys or any other filters that um, work geologically precision to apply erosion to your map okay as well if you have it options you can see approximate profile remember don't try save because it will change the uh, your terrain because seed is modified at this point so i'll just cancel as well if you want it you can go inside um paint and you can still using all your 3d tools just like on a normal terrain so you can still modifying in your 3d and you can still build base it on your 3d m map you can still build all this modification to your terrain as you wish and this is actually a very great tool and um provide you with, with a very precision and same time give you cre creativity from the point you're creating Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember to visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.